You know, there's nothing worse than heading out for a, a beautiful camping weekend. And once you get there, you've forgotten some of the main essentials. Uh, perhaps I can run over a few of uh, the must-haves for an RV camping weekend. The first thing that we need when we get to a campsite is a water pressure regulator because we always have to hook a hose onto the travel trailer so that we have water uh, while we're out camping. Now the, the use of a water pressure regulator is that some uh, campsites have uh, a, a tap outlet that might have 500 pounds pressure in it. And you can only handle 40 pounds pressure in your RV. Otherwise, you start blowing out some of your taps and that type of thing. So you hook this onto the hose, then onto your travel trailer, and you will get the proper amount of water going into your travel trailer that doesn't cause you any problems. Uh, the next thing that you needed to have, of course, to hook onto there was a uh, white water hose now these ones uh, are treated on the inside so that when the sun hits the uh, water hose itself it doesn't cause, cause any uh, bacteria or anything to form in the hose and it makes it for a nice safe water supply. Now another thing that uh, comes in real handy when you get to the campsite is uh, levelers. They have a nice little batch of levelers because whenever you pull in sometimes your site is not uh, quite as level as it should be. You just put these little units in front of each wheel and uh, stack another one on top if you need it twice as high. Pull the travel trailer or the motorhome up onto those units and it'll level the unit off. What that does is not only give you stability in the motorhome or the travel trailer, but your, your refrigerator has to be level when it's operating. It makes a big difference. If it's crooked, the flame in the, inside your fridge will go and maybe burn the side of the of the chimney out, so you want to make sure you have a nice level camping area. Now, one thing that uh, people have to realize that in the uh, marine or the chemical toilets that are in RVs, they have to have a chemical put into there that uh, digests any waste and, and breaks everything down to a nice clear liquid. These chemicals are just dropped into the uh, toilet itself from the top water goes on top of them and they're good for an entire tank that builds up and then it's uh, that's emptied when you either get to uh, uh, home to empty the, the uh, tank out or uh, at a campsite you might have something like this it's a sewer hose that connects onto the travel trailer and then down into uh, a hole or a, a dump waste dump outlet Last but not least, of course, is you have to have a good supply of uh, toilet paper. Now this is not normal toilet paper, it's a biodegradable toilet paper that breaks down in the tanks and uh, that way you don't have uh, normal toilet paper you use at your own house uh, clinging to the sides of the tank or clogging things up. Uh, a lot of these things are simple little procedures that people don't uh, either know about or and uh, don't follow and the next thing you know they have some problems. So it's very important to know exactly what you need to have for a very enjoyable camping weekend. Easy going, that's how we like to be. You must see Grove Arm.